First referee, Mr. Patrick Castillo. Second referee, Ernesto Yosebio. And now the starters first for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Center from the Far Eastern University, number one, Kyle Negrito. Middle blocker from the National University, number five, Risa Sato. Middle blocker from the College of St. Benil, number six, Jeanette Panaga. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number seven, Michelle Gumabao. Outside striker from the University of the Philippines, number 18, Tuck Carlos. Outside striker from Adams in University, number 23, Gemma Galanza. Starting liberal from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 8, Ella De Jesus. Head coach for Green Line is Sherwin Menezes. And now the starters for the Signal HD Spikers. Outside striker from San Pedro University, number 17, Captain Ses Molina. Middle blocker from the National University, number two, Roslyn Doria. Outside spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number five, Gunny Gundler. Opposite hitter from the Far Eastern University, number 10, Chin Basas. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Menezes. Center from FEU, number 22, Jill Cayuna. Starting Libero from NU, number nine, Bia General. And the head coach for Signal is Shaq De Los Santos. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Kings and the Eastman's board. It is three line versus Signal. This is a PBL. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PVL via the Filipinas live app for Filipinos everywhere download and subscribe now for 149 pesos we're back here in batangas as we give you the starting lineup for the cream line cool smashers and now on to the starting lineup this time for the signal hd spikers the same lineup that put shack field in in their first game against pldt good to note jamie both teams wala pa silang talo this is their second game here in our second all filipino conference Betty Capistrano, Jamie La Vittoria, Kyla Castillo manning the sidelines for us here in Batanga City. It is a full house. The crowd, their energy is at 100%. And for those watching us anywhere in the world, whether it's at home, abroad, on Filipinas Live, thank you so much for joining us. Let's get this set underway. That's Carlos Sessions off, and that's going to be a point for the Signal HD Spikers. Coach Carlos trying to avoid the hands of Doria going for that sharp cross-court attack. Bill, you take a look at both teams, both seasoned rosters. I said this earlier in the pregame, but the team that will win today is the team that will adjust fast, who will make those in-game just in-game adjustments faster. This is gonna be a very, very good game by the looks of it. Even here as we, you know, we just started. The energy is at an all-time high. That is another point here for Signal. So far, so good for the girls in black. Steady start for them. Ses Molina with that down the line attack. Not too much power on that attack, but you have that placement there. Vet moves by Molina. And we see on the sidelines, Jovelin Gonzaga is she's present. Here, she's present. She is ready to go if, if called. Great save there by Vani Gandler. They go to Bassa. She's denied. Ses Molina, picked up by Ella. They got a touch again, challenging those blockers. Good recovery. It's getting louder and louder here in Batangas as Vani Gandler gets point number three we for saw, Signal. We saw a pattern in their last matchup. Jelka Yuna constantly giving Vani Gandler that back row attack. I mean, the improvement, the transformation of Vanny Gandler compared to the Invitational Conference. This is her sophomore conference in the PVL. Former Blue Eagle, Chindasas, she was denied the second time around. Green Line gets her first point. 
know, with such veteran players, you have studied your opponent for the past years. After each game, you study, you study the patterns of your opponent. And Coach Carlos maximizing that on Chinchin Basas. We have Bang Spanaga on deck to serve for the pink shirts. General will give it to Cesc Molina. That's going to be an attack error for Cesc. Sails outside. Lack of wrist action in that rally by Cesc Molina. Cesc Molina, she said it was her first time to win an MVP award last conference. The confidence, I mean. And she, see it. she absolutely deserves it. And the best thing about that, Jamie, was her fellow volleyball players were also cheering her yeah. on. As we get back to this game, speaking of Sess, that is unsuccessful. They go to Tots Carlos, finding a way. Basas to the other side. They go to Michelle Gamaba. Picked up by Vanny. Eliza, that was Gemma rather sliding for it. An exchange of powerful attacks. Our referee is going to call that point to green line. There was a violation. Net what touch. There? I believe there was a net touch on the side of signal. But, I mean, that rally that we just witnessed, they, they, I said this before, they practice their opponent and they studied them. And they're the ready defense, for it. They are ready. And we're talking about both teams. Yep, both teams. Really studying each other as Pan Spanaga continues to serve for cream line that's gonna be a free point given to signal they try to pull away a one point advantage for the signal hd spikers now serving for signal team captain again for those who just tuned in we are in batanga city right now pvl on tour the first of hopefully many negrito back set Negrito giving Michelle Gumabo only one blocker. Take a look at that reverse set. Wow. And Gumabo scored 20 big points in their first game against Choco Mucho. Unfortunately, that will be a three point given to Signal. That's her second, I believe. That's already two missed serves. One from Panaga earlier and Gumabo now. The test is the team that has the less unforced errors. Because we already know what they can do. Yes. Offensively, defensively. That will be another, or the exchange service error rather, is talking about signal. That's going to be a point for the cool smashers. Neck to neck here in set number one. We have Teresa Sato. A bigger role here for the cool smashers, as we all know, said Domingo has got the green light to be able to play abroad. Great news for her. That's Carlos with a serve! See miscommunication by Vanny Gandler and Cesc Molina. You see a three-man receive on the side of Signal. We know that Tots Carlos is one of the better servers for this cream line team. Very strong serves, jump serves. Kayuna will find Basas. She's been getting blocked in that position. Good control by Creamline. Here comes Gemma Galanza. One hand saved by Kayuna. Gander to the other side. Kyle Negrito will find Gemma. Blocked. That's inside. And that is inside. That is inside. We're gonna call a signal calling a challenge in that rally. And for those that didn't see that, that was a free ball over by Creamline. So that will be a challenge, as Jamie mentioned, called by the Signal HD spikers. Okay lang yan, okay lang yan, okay lang naman. 
break, break lang yan ang momentum din. Okay. Galaw lang tayo nung normal natin na ganun tayo ka-aggressive, okay? Let's take a look at the result. It is... That is outside. <laughs> that is outside. Just making sure. Ball outside. Sometimes the challenge is called by the coaches to break, break the momentum yeah. and to break the momentum. Successful challenge for Coach Shaq and the rest of the single HD spikers. We have Chin Basas, also a former Lady Tamarau, on deck to serve for a signal. Overcomes that one, a little too strong for Chin. But two service errors on the side of signal. Adrenaline rush, the nerves. The excitement. Yeah, because we keep mentioning it, but the energy here. Electric. Electric. I guess it's just electric, as what Jamie said. Here comes Kayuna finding Vanny Gandler. Had to adjust for that one. Negrito. That's Carlos out of nowhere. Picked up by General. Negrito. To Gemma Galanza challenging those blockers. Kayuna finds Cesc Molina. Negrito, this time to Michelle Gumabao. Still alive! The, point goes to the point goes to the signal. The point goes to the signal. Ishii Spiker is to explain what happened there, Jamie. The ref is saying that there's an illegal tag by Michelle Gumabao. She is back row, meaning she cannot jump in front of the 10-foot line. So there you have it. We're still tied. Oh, we are tied again. But this time at 7 all, Vanny Gandler serving. Negrito to Galanza. Ces Molina off the hands of Banks Panaga. Ces Molina using her smarts and touching the hands of Panaga. You see a seesaw battle between both squads, Billy. Is this a premonition oh my goodness. of what's oh my to goodness. come? <laughs> We're here for it. We'd love to see it. And I'm sure the fans are going to love it as well. Take a look at the digs of both squads. We have Ella de Jesus and Via General. That's going to be an error for Vanny. Serving for three by Kyle Negrito. Now it's Kyle's time to serve for Cream Line. What a serve, that's a good serve. Kayuna to Riri Meneses. Ball is kept alive. Kayuna back to Riri with a push. Chance here for a signal. And they will go for Vanny Gandler, but she is blocked. Not today. Not today, says Banks Panaga on Vanny Gandler. As we check in with Kyla for her report. Go ahead, Kyla. Five years ago, on this same arena in Batanga City, a young Vani Gandler together with her Ateneo Motolai team faced Dreamline and would you believe it, beat them in five sets. So for Vani, this is such a full circle moment for her. When that tinanong ko siya, anong bago? Sagot niya naman, things are pretty much the same. But when talking about her maturity, composure and growth, well, those are on a whole new different level. New streaming experiences await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Back to you, Billy and Jamie. Thank you so much for that report on Vanny Gandler, Kyla. Well, you know, Vanny has just improved leaps and bounds before our eyes. I mean, dating back to her rookie year in Ateneo. Grabe yung ginaling niya. And it was already good. But right now, she's on another level, really helping the Signal team. And I remember being teammates with her back in Season 82. And in training, you would see a change of demeanor. She was still a little bit nervous, but now she's really coming to her own. And we love to see that confidence in Vanya to get back to this game. Two-point advantage for Greenland. Here comes Michelle Gamabao. Great defense by Hidaral. Quick thinking by Fans Panaga. A point is a point. She was expecting to have a harder attack there, but touching zone five.
Take a look at this. A little too early in her jump. She, wasn't <laughs> she thought it was gonna go out. <laughs> One hand set, the Doria. Gumabo, excellent build, Screamline has four, Signal has eight. Michelle Gumabo, fooling the block of the Signal HD Spikers. She always has that heavy hand. And right now, Creamline trying to pull away here in our first set of the match. Galanza to serve. Kayuna. Says Molina, she's denied. Vanny tries to save it. Vanny was on the floor, and the general didn't want to step on her as we go to our first technical timeout. Creamline in the lead, 13 to 9. Download and register now. We're still here at the Batanga City Sports Coliseum. This is a game between Dreamline and Signal. We have Sir Ricky Palu. Of course, our very important guests in attendance here in Batangas. Enjoying this match alongside the wonderful crowd that we have this Saturday. Billy Capistrano, Jamie LaVittoria, and Kyla Castillo. Dreamline still leads our set number one. But Signal will get a point here. 10 to 13 is our score. Cesc Molina breaking that momentum of the Dreamline Pool Smashers and getting that side out. But prior to that sequence, Billy, a lot of the serves are actually being targeted to Vanny Gandler. But, I mean, her receives are in the setter's box. But Carlos. That's going to hit the antenna. The set was a little bit too outside for her to even push it over or even to allow her to go to that cross court area. She's trying to go down the line, but she was trapped. Right now, the lead is down to two points. Make that back to three points. That is going to be a service error for Signal. 14-11 on the scoreboard right now. When you look at both sidelines of the teams, I mean, you have weapons, you have Gonzaga, and you still have Pons on the side. Really Anyone. Deep bench, deep bench for both yeah. our squads. So you can't really tell who has yeah. an advantage in, in this game. You see on-court errors also by the, on the side of Creamline and Signal with a lot of missed serves. Three, I believe. That's right. We're also live now on One Sports for those who are watching us on television. We hope that you are enjoying this game. Thoughts Carlos has dug up. Cayuna will give this one to Vanny Gandler. Vanny, Vanny. It's that corner. Vanny so far, so good for her in set one. Vanny
and again, they're going for that long ball cross court attack. Right on the right, right on, on the money. Target. Yep. Easy money for Vanny as Ses Molina serves. Wow! Carlos Via General. Right. What a dig by General. This time to Michelle Gamaba, a different approach. Ses Molina. Too low. Chance ball here. Carlos again, straight to General. Vanny Gandler challenging the blockers. Beautiful set. It is still alive. Attack error for Chin Basas. She's been having a couple of uh, problems, troubles here in set one. And we see a very, very familiar face coming in, much to the delight of the signal fans. We have Jov Gonzaga, the Bionic Ilonga, making her first appearance here in our All Filipino Conference. As we take a look at Michelle Gamaba, four points off three attacks, one block. Kayuna finds Vanny, not giving up on Vanny. Not the, not the cleanest of attacks, but Vanny Gander was able to make a way. I have to give credit to Bia General, stellar defense. Stabilizing the first ball for Signal and making the life of Jal Kayuna easier. At present, Via General is the number one best digger in our league right now. Their previous game, 33 excellent digs. As we get back to our ball game, two point lead for Creamline. And mind you, she did not play a lot in the Invitational Conference, but she is really grabbing this opportunity. As she should. Thoughts Carlos going for that serve, the famous jump serve. Beautiful dig. Kayuna, we're going to jump. Okay, Aga announces her entry here in our All Filipino Conference. Instant impact in between the blocks of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Take a look at Risa. A little bit late in that rally. Do expect Gel Kayuna to be setting. Gonzaga Moore. Going to activate the Bionic Ilonga today. Ball is still alive. Good hustle by Green Line. Good coverage. Kayuna to Vanny with a push. They go to Sato with a quick. That is going to be outside. It's the right idea by Negrito. But lots of ri wrist action in that rally by Risa Sato. Nakulangan sa angle. Yep, yep. Right now, the Queen Line Crew Smashers will call for time. Let's listen in. Counter tayo, hindi tayo maka first attack. So, pag ka first attack, alam nga din sa receive. Salita. Kung ano naman, kung may receive, tuloy. Tapos, timing. O, gitawan lang tayo, ha? Okay, smooth. Stress mo muna. Ato, atake ha, tumba. Let's go, let's go. Sherwin Menez is giving his squad specific instructions. The score is now 16 all tied. Now, the Green Line Cool Smashers is a team that thrives on counter attack, but signal as well. So, this is really a test, like I said earlier, Billy, who will make the in game ju adjustments faster. Okay. We already know how talented these two teams are, filled to the brim with. You know, amazing players in their roster. It will boil down to that discipline on the court as well, Jamie. And that is going to go to green line. So they pull away again here in, first, in the first set. I believe they will call it block touch on Vanny Gantler. So there is going to be a challenge called by Coach Shaq. The, the teams are going to use this time to talk to one another, communicate, and try to figure out how to close this set. Neck and neck between both squads. I mean, the skill set that they've shown, I mean, with both teams, Billy, it's difficult to gauge. Is there a block touch? There was no not. block touch. It was a bit higher. That's right. A lot higher. 
And the, the fingers that we see on the screen. So no block touch, the point will remain to cream line. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq. They pull away, talking about cream line by a single point. Kayuna will go to Ses Molina. Wow. Good coverage, that. right. One hand save, almost, but not quite. Ria Menezes with that eight quick attack. Her classic stare down at the end, but Risa Sato here. Take a look at that dig. Smart play by Jelka Yuna. Danny Gandler on deck to serve for the Signal HD Spikers. As you mentioned, it is her sophomore conference in the PVL. That was a good serve from Vanny. Here comes Galanza and the Onsi Menezes. Bumabao with a help. Oh, <laughs> Lucky point by the cream line. Cool smashers. Back row attack by MG. MG in peak form. I mean, the past couple of conferences, she has really come alive, baby. Always leading the offense here for the cool smashers. And also being such a vocal leader on the court. You know, I consider her one of the most selfless volleyball players. Whenever she's first six or coming off the bench, and then she, she does her job. That's right, here she goes again. Second straight point for MG. You see a trend with the attacks of MG, the heavy hand of Michelle Gumabao. With that, the signal AC spikers will call for time. Okay. Signal needs to get the next point in order to gain that momentum. The score is 19-17. You have Jovelin Gonzaga now in the mix. She is now in for Chinchin Basas. We need that leader. We don't have Rachel Andakis now in the, in the mix, but we need a leader, an emotional leader at that Jovelin Gonzaga. Just to kind of regroup everybody. That's right. right now they're down by two points. This is going to be a chance here for Creamline. As Negrito will give it to Galanza. Gemma Galanza, the crowd goes wild. Combination play ran by Kyle Negrito, coming from a free ball. Fang Spanaga acting as a decoy in that rally, and fooling the blockers of Signal. It's a three point push for the Cream Line Cool Smashers, one of the biggest leads we've had in set number one, which says a lot about this game. De Jesus sets up Gumabao. As Cayuna will find Gonzaga. Chance this time for Signal. Cayuna with a one-two play and she is successful. Cayuna, I think she wants to be added to the special order. Janelle Chang. Oh my gosh, Janelle Chang. But Jel Cayuna. Fooling Kyle Negrito. And yes, they were teammates back in college. It was, a, it was our, one of our features, right? Yep. The pregame setter versus setter. Cayuna was one of the backups, if not the backup, of Kyle Negrito. And that's going to be a chance for Creamline. Three point for Creamline. You don't want to give them those chances, especially when they're almost about to close out the site. Right. Galanza on deck to serve. Cayuna. Pretty broken play. Cayuna to Ses Molina. Better this time. They got a touch, Carlos. That was close. Too much for Signal to handle. 22 18. Take a look at this sequence. Great set by Negrito. Vanny was there. Vanny was there, Billy.
targeting Gonzaga. They go to Molina, she's blocked. Kayuna, back set. Another chance here for the Cool Smashers, and they go to MG, what a swipe. They will not be giving free balls to the Korean line Cool Smashers, because once they gain that momentum, they are unstoppable, and you are gonna be in big, big trouble. What a set by Negrito, reverse set. Says Molina late to that block. Signal now at a standstill, it is 18-23 on the scoreboard as Kayuna tries to make things happen. Thoughts Carlos! Better receive. Sorry, that was a dig from Vanny. Chomp Gonzaga, that defense. The wow. Wow. Down the line, MG doing it for the cream line cool smashers. The heavy hands. Scoring machine in this first set. And with that, she puts the Cream Line Cool Smashers at set point. 24 serving 18. Kayuna. Wow. A quick one from Doria. And we need to see more, more of those. I would like from, from Signal. They need to involve the middle blockers as well. I was gonna just I was gonna say that, Billy. We have not talked about Doria has been awfully silent also in that previous game. This entire first set, more production to the middle. Well, don't look now, Chingy. Here come the Signal HD Spikers. Good serve. serve. Dots Carlos for the set. Not yet. Kayuna. That was way, way too strong for Cesc Molina. And just like that, the Green Line Cool Smashers take set number one. Oh, hold up. They're going to call a challenge. There was good, they're going to ask for a block touch. That's right. Talking about signal. On the attack of Cesc Molina. Shock. Again, another chance here for yep. the Signal HD Spikers to regroup. Let's take a look. That is way off. I mean, also from where we're seated at the you side. Didn't see. Yeah, yep. that was clearly no block touch. So again, the Queen Mike Blue Smashers take set number one from the Signal HD Spikers here. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq. And the score that we have for our first set it is 20.
minutes of play, Billy Capistrano with Jamie Lovatorial. Take a quick look at our set one highlights. There was a seesaw battle between both squads. Signal adding Jovelyn Gonzaga into the mix. She was effective. And keep in mind that Jelka Yuna needs to add more variation to her offense. We need more production from the middle blockers with, Cess uh, with Ria Menezes. Now, on the side of the Green Line Pool Smashers, Michelle Gumabao was able to execute the offense properly in the, in the last set. But Kyle Negrito, steady hands, she has a skill set and she's showing that she is a force to be reckoned with. As we take a quick look at our set number one statistics, Jamie, the suck number is what stands out to you the most? Well, it was neck and neck between both squads, but Signal had more unforced errors compared to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Three blocks with cream line and only one by Signal. That's right. And here we go, set number two. And by the way, you see the experiences also await by the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. We're also live right now on One Sports. For those who are watching us there in their homes or enjoying this with a family, thank you so much for, for joining us. And we hope that you are enjoying this fantastic game as we get back to our match at hand. That's going to be a point for Ses Molina. Ses Molina getting that side out. Now we have Jovelin Gonzaga as the first six in for Chinchin Basas this second set. And it's going to be a really you know, big advantage here for Signal to have Job Gonzaga on the court for them right now. And it's not only about her skill set and her attacking. You need a leader right. on it's that a, court. You need that leader. that she brings to yep. this team. She, she is one of the stabilizers of the Signal HD Spikers. That's right. Kayuna will find Cesc Molina. Thoughts Carlos, here she comes. Cesc again. What a great dig by Gemma Galanza. Carlos. Believe there is no touch on that block. By signal not over, but Coach Sherwin Menezes will call a challenge. What are you, what are your thoughts on that sequence, Jamie? So seeing that slow motion on your screens, the attack of Todd Carlos touched the net and then it touched the hand of Doria. So it could be seen that there was a block touch. So we are gonna be waiting for the results of this challenge as a first challenge here in our second set. Also for those who are joining us on Pilipinas Live, I know we have a poll question, so why not answer that? But let's take a look at the result first. Exactly. So touch the, the net first. Yep, and then hit Doria. So that does count as a long touch. It's a successful challenge for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Puntos para sa Cool Smashers. Here comes Gemma Galanza. Molina. A little too short. Yep, a little too short. Says Molina is a team captain right now for Signal, in the absence of Rad. And she did score 20 big points as well in their previous game. Kayuna back set. Wow. Good job, Gonzaga. As we, we're going to let Jamie react to that later. But first, let's check in with Kyla. Go ahead, Kyla. Sa cream line, kung may mawawala man, may nakahanda ng tumalit at mag-step up. As we all know, said Domingo already got the green light from the Cool Smashers to pursue greater heights abroad. Nevertheless, despite her departure, she says that cream line will remain as the same competitive team that people have grown to love. Their system is solid like that. Enjoy new streaming experiences via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now. Back to you, Billy and Jamie. To add to what Kyla said, nothing changes with the system of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. No Gia, no Sed. Everything stays the same. The training stays the same. The system, it adds a new style for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. 
and it's also, you know, a great showcase of the trust that the coach, our coach Sherwin Meneses, has in his players. Right now, things are going pretty well here for the Cool Smashers. 5-3 to three on the scoreboard as Kayuna finds Vanny Gandler. Good save by Karen Negrito. Pati siya na-surpresa sa, <laughs> sa save na yun. Kayuna, again to Vanny. The front approach blocked by Gumabaw. And finally, Cesc Molina from the back row. The past couple of attacks have not been going her way. Jamie, so you can see that sense of relief when she finally got that point. So you want to gain that momentum from yourself. You see that your attacks are a little bit off, but you need that one spike to make your way. That's right. That must be it for, for Cess as they go. The mission of And the ball is nowhere to be found. We cannot find it anymore. I'm speechless by the attack of Michelle Gumaba, but that's also because Kyle Negrito is giving her only one block. Ria Menezes is late in that rally. And Michelle's game has really evolved since her UAAP days. She's gotten better and better. We are exchanging heavy hits here in Batangas. Targeting Jovelin Gonzaga in the receive. Jelka Yuna still giving her the ball. A little late on that block. That was Risa Sato. Negrito joust at the net. Sato saved that with her elbow. And another one to play for Jelka Yuna. That is her second of the ball game. She is in the front row. That is another weapon by Jelka Yuna. Deceiving. No defense was found on the side of CCS. She is one of the scoring setters that we have in our league right now. Four points for her against PLDT. As that service goes outside for Gonzaga, we see our team captain for Green Line. Laking Batangas win, si Eliza Valdez. Tots Carlos now on deck to serve. What a good serve. Great receive. Molina straight to Michelle Gomabao. And I remember Gomabao had an attack like that, but against General in the yeah, earlier set, when right. she went down the line. But you know, all, all, all the heavy hits and attacks you see, it's not intentional. They don't of course, land yep. to target anybody or intentionally hit anyone. Vanny Gander now on deck to serve. A little too much angle on that serve for Vanny. Now serving for the Cool Smashers, Risa Sato. They've been targeting Vanny Gandler for that receive. When you're targeted for a receive, Jamie, is there a lot of pressure that comes with it? Definitely, but I mean, that's the more that you should be ready because you know the serve is going to come to you. Like, you should be ready because you have no choice to. Yep. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Jelka, you have a third point. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, with a one-two play. And right now, we're tied eight all. That is a service ace for Riri Meneses. Riri Meneses with that short ball serve. When you look at the defense of the Cream Line Cool Smashers, you have a three-man receive. So, someone needs to get that short ball. You gotta be ready for it. Kayuna will go to Doria. Chance here for a signal. Kayuna asking for clearance. They go to Cesc Molina. Negrito will find Galanza. And the Onsi Gonzaga. Molina again. No fear on the attack. We see a substitution now. Eliza Valdez in for Gemma Galanza. Eliza had four points in their game against Choco Mucho. And the crowd gets louder whenever she's 
shown on the screen, understandably so, because again, as I mentioned, she grew up in, she is from Batangas. Minessa serving, signal with a lead, two point lead. Joust at the net, signal has it. They go to Molina with a drop. I have to give credit to Vanny Gandler playing impeccable defense. So that is a clear sign of maturity on Vanny's end as well. She's becoming an all around player here yep. in the PBL. And that will go again to Cess Molina. Signal slowly oh, gaining okay. momentum and in that, the second set. And that confidence as well is very apparent with a Signal HD spiker. You take a look at the scoreboard. Four-point advantage for the Black Shirts. And Cess Molina buhay na buhay dito sa ating second set. Much better showing than that first one. Minesa serving. Negrito to Eliza Valdez. Instant impact by Eliza Valdez. And if you guys have noticed, every time she's put on the court, she gets her first point right away. Take a look at this. And Eliza, in the previous game against Chocomucho, she came off the bench, sets three and four, had four points. And you know, even if she scores 20 plus or, or four, she is always going to be that stabilizer, like how Job is. That's right. For, for Signal. The vets. Nobody holds. You see, you see Michelle Gamabo change her attack there. Not the heaviest, not the cleanest, but she went for that soft touch almost. Just guiding the ball to yes. where it's supposed to go. So smart. Two point lead for Signal. Kyle Negrito. Seven excellent sets what for a her. Serve. Bolina. And don't see the Jesus. They go back to Gomabao. Cayuna will go. They go to Acuna again. And that's a real point for Signal. Unsteady hand by Kyle Negrito in that rally. Valdez was trapped. Right now, we head on over to our second.
PL second All Filipino Conference. We're live here at the Batanga City Sports Coliseum. It is Signal versus Creamline. Gumaba welcomes us back as she tucks it in. Signal targeting Valdez with that receive. But MG pulling the block of the Signal HC Strikers. Liza Valdez, team captain on deck to serve for cream line. Jel Cayuna. Gonzaga avoiding those blockers. They go back to Michelle Gamaba. And she is unstoppable here in our match today, Jamie. Heavy lifting, heavy hands. Kyle Negrita knows that MG can potentially be a go-to spiker of the Queen Line Cross Marshals. And look on the other side, you still have Touch Carlos That's there. right. Lots of options here for a signal. That was going to be... That was a triple block. Not a problem for Cesc Molina. Combination play ran by Shel Cayuna. They needed that to get the side out. To break the momentum of Queen Line. Negrito to Todd Carlos this time. Cayuna. Vanny Gandler on the block. Vanny Gandler. Being effective at the front, Vanny Gandler using her smarts of the Cream Michael Smashers. And that is going to sail outside for Cesc Molina. Now serving Panaga. We have Pans Panaga, one of the decorated middle blockers for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And I remember you saying in the pregame, Jamie, one of the things that Kyle really needs to do is involve the middles. That's right. You see the pattern of wing spikers. Not neglecting the talent of the wing spikers here with Todd Carlos and Michelle Gumaba, but we have not seen a lot of production by Risa Sato and Pang Spanaga. Pang Spanaga. Also on the side of Signal as well. Right. So it's a battle of the wing spikers here today. Pang Spanaga, two points off one attack, one block for her. And a service ace for Pax. Targeting zone five. Vanny Gandler in the area of Vanny Gandler, That's rather. What we're saying about them targeting yep. Vanny. When in doubt, you gotta get it. You're gonna do it again, this time, General. Vanny waiting, attacking, no go. Cal Negrito will go to Gumabao with the effort by Cesc Molina. Michelle Gumabao, she is on fire here tonight. I'm sure the blockers of the Signal HG Spikers are frustrated, Billy, because they cannot block MG. And with that, Coach Shaq de los Santos will call for time. Okay, lang namin, kapag gagalong tumatalsik na yung bola, o nag-check sa block, kailangan makuha natin sila yun, ha? Okay? Sige lang. Medyo nag-galo lang tayo, service. Saka yung receive natin, okay? Doon tayo nagkakaroon ng disadvantage kasi kailangan pumasa talaga tayo. At the same time, kailangan may maganda tayong service. Okay? Sige, sige lang. Saka ulit, ate, 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 Next move pa kat, next move pa kat. Oo, okay. Sige, bawe lang, bawe. Eh, sika! Let's go, sika! Sige, sige! And green line! Happy! Such seasoned rosters on both sides. Whether you're up two or three points, Bill, that's already a lot. And now, take a look at the score. The Green Line Cool Smashers are up by one point. Signal was up prior to this. And Green Line, once they have the momentum, I said this earlier, they are unstoppable. So some adjustments need to be made on the side of the Signal HD Spikers, and that's going to be a violation. Overreaching by the side, on the side rather, of the Signal HE Spikers. Panaga still targeting Vanny Gandler. The receiver Vanny was already on the other side. 
gonna be a good strategy there for Pangs. Panaga. Sabi nga ni Jamie, tina target niya si Vani sa service. Up top, Carlos up top. Up top and down below it goes. Now in the first set, Vani was also still the target and she was receiving well. And now, Signal is going with a two-man receive, meaning Vani will now go forward in front of Bia General. So Bia and Cess will receive. Sigh of relief. Yes, sir. <laughs> for Vani. But again, the rules continue here for Signal, even with that adjustment. Jamie. Signal. So what do you think is happening on the side of Signal right now? What was helping them earlier was the stable first ball, and now they don't have it. And Jelka Yuna is unable. We want them to. We yep. want her to run the middles. Right. She can't even give the opens because of the receive. Much better this time. Umaba. She's blocked. Saved by Negrito. They go to Gonzaga. That's going to sail outside for Joe. Right idea by Joe Valen Gonzaga going for that down the line. The I believe Coach Shaq will call a timeout, uh, will call a challenge in this rally. Also acts as a timeout. You see him talking to his squad here. The green line cool smashers slowly. Well, they do have the momentum now. Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. We need to overcome it. Chaga, chaga lang, chaga. Let's take a look at the results. Obviously, no. Look how close. The pinky of Todd Carlos. Last touch, that he was Yep. The Todd's yon. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq and the refs of the Signal HD Spikers. Greenline with a pretty big lead right now. Five points, perhaps the biggest lead that we've had here in this game as Pangs prepares to serve for Greenline. Kayuna to Vani again. Vani this time, Vani, she's angry. She wants things to happen. The statement by Vani Gandler going down the line. 15, 17, Keep targeting me on the serve. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. I'm going to attack down the line. <laughs> now, chance here for a signal. Negrito. What a set. Good dig over there. Good digging here in the side of Signal. Great effort by the Cool Smashers, but ultimately this point will go to the Signal HD Spikers. Trying to play catch up here in our second set. As Coach Sherwin this time will try to regroup. Don't get the pressure you receive. Get na lang natin. Yes, yes, no problem. Get na lang natin. Time. 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 Diba? Diba, diba? Buwan tayo. Kung saan mo pupuntos lumagigay. Si Tots nakapokus sa block si Tots eh. Huwag ka nang tumarest. Dito ka na lang. Kung saan ito ang atap. Sherwin Menezes giving Kyle specific instructions. Whoever she thinks has the hot hands, that is who you're gonna give it to. It could be MG, it could be Carlos, Valdez. You have too many weapons. That is the parents of Eliza Valdez on your screens. Of course, supporting Eliza. And watching the Green Line Cool Smashers. And speaking of the Cool Smashers, MG making things happen for Cream Line in our second set. 21, serving 17. I got to talk about the demeanor serving of Michelle MG, Kuhlbaum. always composed, very professional. 21, serving 17. So That's going right. to be a free point given to Signal. Take a look at the attack points. We got 10 for the Cool Smashers in total. 
see a double substitution. That's right. We have Giselle C, also a former Lady Tamarau. Chin Basas, we know that she didn't have the best set number one, hoping to redeem herself. 18 serving 21. Negrito, Teresa Sato, finally activating the middles, and that's what we wanted to see. That's what you wanted to see, Janie, as well. That's a great set by Kyle Negrito. That short running attack. Now let's see if Kyle continuously does that for the middle block, for her middles. 22 serving 18 this time. Tots Carlos. What a good serve. Vanny will try off the hands of Michelle Gumabao. Cross court attack, Vanny Gandler. Ending that side out for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Bump set by Giselle C. MG just needed that one step to her right. Three point advantage for the Cool Smashers in our second set. Here comes Vanny. Ooh, another service error for the HD Spikers. And if you're Coach Shaq, that's something you do not want to see. And we can see him on the sidelines kind of shaking his head. It's just the timing of the missed serve. And a lot of cheers as well for Risa Sato. Yes. Sato-san with a serve. A short one at that. And a point for Eliza. Valdez just tipping it over. No defense was found on the side of Signal. Let's take a look. Over received by Ria Menezes. Set point for the Cool Smashers. Giselle C will find Cesc Molina. Negrito to Tots Carlos from the back. Chin Basas. They're going to try to save it. Unsuccessful. Risa Satosan is okay, trying to dive for that for that ball, but that is going to be a point for Chin Basas. Got to commend the hustle of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. The ball is still in play until it touches the ground. And also a confidence booster here for, for Chin Basas, but again, hope, hope Risa Sato is okay. It looks like she, she was, you know, pretty okay. As we go to Cal Negrito, and Eliza Valdez! Always ready to be called in. Valdez going for that cross court attack. Avoiding the hands of the block. Perfect set, perfect attack, perfect play. Perfect play. That is Eliza Valdez for you. And the Green Line Crew Smashers takes set number two from the Signal HE Spikers.
And the Cream Line Cool Smashers take set number two from the Signal HD Spikers. 25, 20, 27 minutes of exciting volleyball action for all our fans as we take a look at our set number two highlights. The Signal HD Spikers were up three points in the middle of the second set until Banks Banaga continuously targeted Vanny Gandler back there in zone five. They couldn't keep up, but on the side of the Cream Line Cool Smashers, it came down to the small details, the receive. But I have to highlight Michelle Gumabao doing the heavy lifting for the Cream Line Cool Smashers, whether she's in the back row or the front row. Now, on your screens, we see the stats of set two. The attacks 13 versus 17. Now, take a look at the opponent errors of the Signal HD Spikers. You have 10 compared to two. And Cream Line is known to make quite a few unforced errors, but they limited, down, limited it down to less than five. That's right, Jamie, and before anything else, there's a new streaming experience await via the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. And going back to what you said about those unforced errors, 10 for Signal, 2 for the Cream Line Cool Smashers in the previous game of Cream Line against their sister team, Chocomucho. They had 20 yep. errors, unforced errors. I believe in the third set of that match, they committed nine errors, but taking a look at who's starting here. We have Troncoso, Chai Troncoso starting for the Signal HD Spikers here in our third set. Coach Shaq trying to mix things up. We are just, you know... Telling the, the audience, our fans, a couple of reminders before we start the game. This is set number three, Vinica Pestrano, Jamie La Vittoria, and Kyla Castillo. Troncoso on deck to serve. As Negrito, back set. There we go. To Rans Managa. And again, that's what we were talking about a while ago. Kyle activating her middles. Already in the first attack, Kyle Negrito establishing the middles with Banks Panaga on that running attack. Early nice two-point lead for Creamline. Here comes Ria Menesa. Speaking of middles, that's a good save by Negrito. Another good save by Hineral. She wasn't able to have it cross over to the other side of the court. MG doing what she does best, making a way and grabbing that opportunity to score. Finding that donut hole in the defense of the HD Spikers. Cayuna sends it to Molina. I believe that is not over by Cess Molina. That's right, that's going to be an attack error for Cess Molina. Now you don't want to give the Cream Line Cool Smashers this momentum. It's important that you try and get that side out. Especially that, you know, if they do win this set, they win this game. Both teams will apantalo here in our All-Filipino Conference. This is just her second game, but it's going to be a very important one. Rhea Menezes wakes up here in the third set. A little bit silent in our game today. Banaga was going for that attack. But Jelka, you know, was able to set her in that A-quick. Need more production from the middle side. We have Cunha and Meneses as the middle blockers for Signal. Michelle Gumabao, the drop. And Troncoso. Big mistake there, Jamie. And that drop ball by MG was probably one of the very high drop ball at that. Troncoso and Jel Cayuna having that miscommunication. Troncoso needs to get that so Jel Cayuna can set. Well, it is her first time to play today in our game. Talking about Troncoso, here comes Molina. Jel Cayuna maximizing the combination play early on in this third set. Let's take a look at this. Acuna. 
acting as a decoy. Beautiful play from Jel Kayuna orchestrating the offense here for the HD Spikers as she serves. Negrito finds Gumabao. That's going to be an attack error straight to the net for MG. And I think that is her first attack error. And it's already, already the third set. Great production by MG. Thoughts, Carlos, on your screens a while ago. Cannot wait to see what she has in store for us today. Cayuna to Troncoso from the back. Negrito, too tight. They find a way. Evident net touch by Tots Carlos as she was blocking. Now these are the free points that you don't want to be giving to your opponent. And right now we are at a deadlock. Four points apiece for both our squads in our third set. Thank you so much for joining us on the Pilipinas Live app and on One Sports. We hope that you're enjoying this game, much like how MG is enjoying her attacking spree for the Cool Smashers. Maximizing it when she's in the front row, Kyle Negrito, it will give her the ball. She does have the heavy hands, the hot hands of CCS. And that's what Coach Sherwin told Kyle a yes. while back. That's right. Whoever has the hot hands, it began with the own. Acuna, are they asking for a check ball here? No check ball by the Green Line Cool Smashers. Lack of verse action in that rally. Two point deficit. Six to four. MG with 16 big points off 15 attacks and one block. Ses Molina off the block. Ses Molina ending that momentum of the Green Line Cool Smashers. She has been silent, Billy, in this match. More production from Ses Molina. Nice serve. Thoughts Carlos using the blockers of the HD Spikers as we check in with Kyla. Umpisa pa lang daw ng game, may ina-expect na ni Jel Kayuna na hindi magiging basta-basta ang game na ito. Talagang papahirapan daw nila ang isa't isa at hindi basta-basta ibibigay ang panalo sa bawat isa. Apart from facing, the, apart from the obvious challenge of facing the champion team, Jel says that the bigger challenge ay ang hindi pagpapalamon o pagpapadala sa crowd. Bakbakan na ito and if Signal wants to extend the night, well, they must regain their composure, communication, and connection. New streaming experiences await via the Pilipinas Live app. Now for as low as 149 pesos. Back to you, Billy and Jamie. Thank you so much for that report, Kyla. And it is a pretty big crowd that we have here in Batanga City, and the players really gotta keep their composure. As Gemma Galanza gets another point for the Cool Smashers. Galanza making a statement in that rally, getting that side out for her squad. Satosan on deck to serve for the girls in pink. Two point lead for Creamline. Here comes. Cesc Molina, good save by Gumabao. That's a little bit off for Gumabao. The intention was to pass it to Gemma Galanza. That's going to be a point for Signal. As Canegrito kind of tells everybody to settle down a little bit. Siyempre, hindi maiwasan minsan yung adrenaline and yung excitement. Negrito. Gives this one to Gemma. Gemma Galanza gets that point from the same spot that was botched a while ago when MG tried to send it over to her. It all started with Rhea Menezer set it on the other side, giving the Green Line Cool Smashers that opportunity to score. On the scoreboard, two point lead for Green Line. Kyle Negrito now with 11 excellent sets to under her belt. Negrito to Pans Banaga. What a save! But that will be a point. That's going to be a point for Creamline. There was an error on the side of, of Ria, Signal. Yes, Ria Menezes. That was a great set by Kyle Negrito. Three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. This is our third set. 
Negrito serving. Kayuna. Possess Molina. That's outside. Smart idea, right idea by Cess Molina. I believe they will timeout called by Signal. Okay, Okay, Coach Shaq giving his squad specific instructions. As we take a look at the crowd here in Batanga City, gate attendance 4,157 people at the Batanga City Sports Coliseum. Amazing energy. We had a good game a while ago. It was Petrogas versus their floor. And right now, we have this mammoth game. As we get back to this game, look at the unforced errors, but before that, how about MG, Michelle Gumabao, just really being that spark for the Green Line Pool Smashers here. Effective, efficient, and always steady, MG, always so reliable. Ever since reliable, her, yes. collegiate days, Troncoso, they need to make something happen. Talking about signal. Cayuna to Cess Molina from the back row, no goal. Gemma Galanza, good save by Gonzaga. Troncoso will try. Tots. Cayuna tries to spike. Negrito, and this is a long rally we have, and it is ended by none other than MG, the fire starter for the Green Line Pool Smashers. As we go to our technical timeout, Green Line in the lead, 13. Watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as a Spikers Turf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday 
Friday and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. Spikers Turf, where power meets fashion. A lot of amazing fans at the venue right now. Jamie, sa dami ng tao, hindi mahulugang karayom. At syempre, we are all enjoying this game. It's Creamline versus Signal. Billy Capistrano, Jamie La Vittoria, and Kyla Castillo giving us the latest from the sidelines. Take a look at your scoreboard. 13 to 7 in favor of the girls in pink and white. We now have Fanny Gander and Chinchin Bastas on the court for Signal. Some more changes for Coach Shaq De Los Santos. Kayuna gives this one to Vanny and she is denied. Bank Panaga towering over Vanny Gandler. Just the timing. And Jamie, no coverage. This is one of the biggest leads that we've had in this game. And when this happens, Billy, with the Cream Line Cool Smashers, you know what they're capable of yep. doing. Wow, Coach Ty <laughs> is. <laughs> Never forget, <laughs> on your screens, in attendance. <laughs> of course, enjoying this match as well. Seven point advantage for the Cool Smashers. Chance here for Signal as Cayuna will send it to Riri Meneses for the hammer. Now Rhea needs that attack to boost her confidence. We need more production from her on that A quick attack. We have Vanny Gandler on deck to serve, preparing to serve for the Signal team. It is eight serving 14. Here she comes. Steady receive for Signal, trying to make do. It is unsuccessful. Four touches for the Cool Smashers. Easy point for Signal. Going with that set two outside for MG. This is gonna be a huge chance for Signal to play catch up with Creamline. Vanny serves again. And this is gonna go straight to the net and that's gonna cost them, especially at this time, na naghahabul sila. I believe that is her third missed serve this entire match. And three only, it seems low. But that's three points already to your team. Kayuna to Meneses. What, what a dig. That was Ella de Jesus. Here comes Scott Carlos. Off the hands of the blockers oh, of Signal. Signal needs to boost their momentum here. You need a spark plug by, by Signal. Someone needs to step up for the side of the HD Spikers. General will go to Ses Molina through that block. There we go. She has to want to be that person to spark something here for the, for the HD Spikers. Let's take a look at that one more time. Avoiding the hand of the block. Great attack by Ses Molina. Nice serve. Six point lead for Creamline as they go to Tots Carlos. What a good dig by Vanny Gandler. Molina this time. Negrito. They go to Gemma Galanza. Back to Cess. Using the blockers, using Michelle Gumabao. Finally, there's something here for the HD Spikers in our third set. Ria Menezes with that set to Cess Molina. No press on the block by Pang Spanaga. It's then corrected using the hands of Pang Spanaga, rather, as Negrito finds Michelle Gumaba. If you want to side out, if you want to get a point right away, if you want to pull away, that's why you have someone like Michelle Gumaba. Again, we talked about her ever so reliable for the side of the Cool Smashers. And don't look now, we got some substitutions. For Coach Sherwin Meneses, we have Vargas checks in for the first time in our game, and she did not play against Chocomucho. Kayuna. That was Acuna. Good. Good. Molina, and the OCMG. 
And they're going to stop the play because Signal is in a call for, for a net touch. And that was a bit confusing yes. on, on our end and I'm sure also the fans. What, what happened there, Jamie? During that rally, I also was not able to say during that sequence who they're saying touched the net. Well, we're going to get some clarification uh, on this scenario. But yes, we did see that the Signal HD Spikers, they called for a net fault challenge. It started from that attack of Let's take a look if there was indeed a net touch. I believe it's pretty clear. What do you think? No net touch. No net touch. I think MG was pretty far, far from the from the net. So there was no net touch. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Shaq. Then Los Santos, we heard him a while ago talk to his team. But it's not over until it's over. One more challenge remaining for Coach Shaq. 18 to 11 is what we're working with right now. Vargas to serve. That is way out for Rose Vargas. You go in to serve. That's your role. It's important you have to stay ready all the time. Right. Serving for Signal, Jell Cayuna. Jell I believe she is one of the better servers here for the Signal HD Spikers. Nice serve. Good serve. Negrito. Back set to MG. I believe not over on the side of Dreamline. So this is going to be a big opportunity, Jamie, for the Signal HD Spikers to bank on this momentum. Right? It is a five point advantage for Dreamline. Use it. They got to maximize it, especially if they are on the service line. Here comes Todd Carlos. And that's going to be a point for Check Signal. They're going to call it out, but MG signaling to the bench. They check ball. To, yeah, they want to check on that. We have a challenge from Green Line for block touch. And that's going to be a block touch challenge. Had some awkward pass rallies to lead. Check ball called by the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And they were pretty, pretty sure of that. I mean, basing it on the reactions that they had after that play happened, especially MG. Was, it a, was there a block touch? Definitely a block touch. There was. That's going to be a successful challenge for Coach Sherwin Meneses. And now we're going to have a challenge called by the Signal HD Spikers with a net touch. That's going to be their last challenge, their ch I believe, yes. for, for, for this set. So they exchange lang sila yes. ng challenges. Again, to recap, the first one they called in this set was unsuccessful. Dreamline, on the other hand, it was a successful challenge. And now Coach Shaq called another challenge, the last one for them here. Net fault challenge ang tinawag nila, talking about signal. We will see who will get there or suffer rather their first loss of our conference. These two are pretty much at the top of the standings right now at day four of our tournament. On your screen to signal HD spikers trailing behind by five points in our third set. Now sometimes coaches 
Go for that challenge to break the momentum. Uh -huh. Just for everybody to kind of talk to one another. Yes. And to regroup. It gets so busy inside the court, yep. I, would, I would believe, right? <laughs> yes. It gets so busy that sometimes you kind of focus on yourself more than what everybody else That's right. is doing. They're trying to, try to stay warm, trying to stay active here. It's taking a while longer than the past challenges that we've had. And if, I'm not sure if our viewers can can hear, but the crowd is getting a little bit restless. <laughs> and the cheers, primarily for Green Line. Yes. Understandably so, because we are in Batangas. Yes. As Coach Shaq awaits, and the Signal HE Spikers await the decision or the replay of that challenge. We also have a screen right here in the venue that everybody can see, everybody oh, can see. watch. Was there a net touch? No net touch. No net touch. I, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Oh, there. They're changing the angle. Was there a net touch? From, from Actually, here? there was a net touch here as Carlos was going down. But they're going to say no. They're going to say no. And Signal has no more challenges. Coach Shaq not happy about the, the outcome of that challenge. But you know what? Play continues. Yes. They still have more to give. Six-point lead for the Cool Smashers in our third set as MG, 20 points wow. off 19 attacks, one block. Remember in her previous game, she had 20 as well. She might be able to surpass that. Here comes Tots Carlos. General to Cayuna, back set to Cesc Molina. Wow. Negrito to Tots Carlos, right to Chin Basas and Molina for the drop. Denied! Now this is the momentum that the Signal HD Spikers need. Take a look at this stuff block by Cesc Molina. Now she's up to serve. We have Vanny Gander in the front, Acuna. It's important that they, it's down to crunch time for the Signal HD Spikers. That's right! Okay, that hurts for Dreamline. I mean, nobody there. For, for Signal. Let's take a look at this. We have Kyle Negrito with some tricks of her own. And it took a while for the HD Spikers to get that side out. And then followed by Kyle Negrito. Yep. You know, we were talking about her in that pre-game. A lot of people were anticipating her debut as a starting setter. And she's showing everybody that she deserves that spot, definitely. Cunha, Bob set to Chin Basas. Negrito to MG. Chance here for a signal. They go to Chin. Negrito. A little tight. And what happened there? They're going to call a net touch on Acuna. Yes, on the, the side of Signal. Kochak not too happy with that call. Let's take a look at the replay on your screens. There yes, was clearly at the top. Yes. There was, a, I think it was a palm or, or possibly a finger, but at any rate, it was a clear violation. 21 14. Creamline inching closer to seal the deal. Here comes Vanny. Too wide by Vanny Gadler. I think at this point, Nancho na yung gigil. That's right. Nahahalo na yung gigil. 22 serving 14. 22 serving 14. We have Tots Carlos. Powerful server. Molina from the back. Negrito finds Gemma Galanza. She's blocked. No goal. Said Chin Basas. We have not seen. Any attacks given to Risa Sato. 
one of the quickest middle blockers as well, talking about Risa. Negrito gives this one to Gemma, off the block. Gemma Calonza. We got a double. Sorry, this is going to be a substitution. Vargas sits back down as Fang Spanaka re-enters the court. Green line is two points away from winning this match. That's right. Jalcayuna to Meneses. Not over. That's going to be another point for Signal. You know what this means? Jamie, they are at match point. Serving for the match, Risa Sato. Risa Sato on deck to serve for the match. That's a good serve. Kayuna will give this one to Riri. Gemma Galanza. Outside, that's yep. it. Signal will now go up to serve. Consistency. We need a steady serve from Chinchin Basas. That's right, if you're a signal, you want Cream Knight to really fight for that last point. You don't want to hand it to them so easily. We'll see how this pans out. Chin Basa serving. Negrito. Thanks, Managa. No go. Joust at the net. It's still alive. Negrito to Pants. As Kayuna gives this one to Riri. Vanny Gandler. Ball is still alive. And this is going to be a chance here for the HD Spikers. And they are going to go to Ces Molina with a push. Negrito to Tots Carlos. And Tots Carlos will finish this. Three-time conference MVP, four-time best opposite spiker, and the best outside spiker. And she will hand the victory to the Dreamline Cool Smashers. Back row attack by Todd Carlos. Teamwork was shown on the side of the Dreamline Cool Smashers. Gotta give credit to their playmate maker, Kyle Negrito. Orchestrating the offense beautifully. Great job also by Ella De Jesus. We did not talk about her that much during this match. Stable defense. Now on the side of Signal, they did show a lot of glimpses. But in terms of execution, that is what they need to work on. And of course, the creep Signal HD Spikers rather. What a great effort from them. And you can relive this game and all PBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149.
intended signal their first loss of the conference. Take a look at your set scores, 25, 20, 25, 20, and 25, 16. What a game between these two squads. But before anything else, let's first turn it over to Kyla, who is with the best player of the game. Thanks, Billy and Jamie. Hello, Batanga City. I'm with our best player of the game. None other than Michelle Dumabao of the Creamline Cool Smashers. First of all, congratulations, MG. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lahat po na nandito ngayon. Marami, marami salamat. Yes, so MG, ano yung mga in-game adjustments na you had to do in order to beat Signal in just three sets? Well, in the game, medyo nag nagkapalitan kami ng tao in the crucial moments. Pero nandun talaga yung advice ng coaches namin. But I think the adjustments were very minimal kasi we really prepared our game and our game plan and strategy beforehand pa lang. And na-execute naman ngayong game. So preparation talaga, kaya konti na lang yung naging adjustments. Puro execution na lang. Uh -huh. And related on that note, what does this mean? Does this win mean to you and the team? Well, of course, every game is important to us. It's a quick season, so every game, every set, every point is a must-win for us. We offer this to a lot of people, to our management, to lahat po ng mga fans na talagang walang sawang sumusuporta sa amin, to our families, and of course, to our team because we work really hard each and every time. Yes, MG, for our last question, anong pakiramdam mag-level dito sa Batangas with more than 4,000 Batanggenyo supporting the team? Every year naman, we really try to come here kasi warm support talaga, not only from the LGU, but sa lahat ng mga Batanggenyos dito. Of course, and dyan si Lai! So maraming maraming talaga salamat and um, we're just really happy that it's a safe game. Yun naman yung prayer namin lagi, na safe lahat, walang injury. So thank you, Lord, for this win. Thank you! Lastly, MG, mga gusto mong batiin at pasalamatan. Of course, to our management, sa lahat po ng mga Batanggenyos, and sa lahat ng mga Filipinos over the world, all around the world na nanonood sa amin, and sa lahat ng mga Creamline fans, and to our families as well. Thank you so much for all the support. There you have it, folks. That's MG Michelle Gumabao of the Creamline Cool Smashers, our best player of the game. We'll be right back. The heart of volleyball. Alay tayo yung yaki ni ngayon sa Batangas City at kasama natin ng napakagandang si Tagay. Walang iba kundi si Alisa Valdez. Ayan, matinding palakpakan para sa daughter of Batangas. Alisa, what does it feel to be uh, recognized by your hometown as the daughter of Batangas? Kupu ah. Wow, very overwhelmed. I feel like uh, a kid going back all the time here. Eh, uh, madaming mga memories sa bumabalik. It humbles me every time I go back here in Batangas. And ibang iba ang pagmamahal ng mga taga Batangas. Maraming maraming salamat po.
Yes, napaka-warm talaga ng welcome ng ating mga Batanggenyo kasing init ng Loming Batangas. Ano? So ano ang iyong uh, message para sa ating mga Batanggenyo na talagang tumayo dito para ikay makita? Ala eh! Kamusta ka kayo? Sa lahat po ng mga pumunta from different parts of Batangas, mga nag-travel from Manila to Batangas, maraming maraming salamat po, well appreciated po, and sana magkita-kita pa po tayo sa mga upcoming games ng Creamline. Thank you so much! Kayo po ang isa sa mga inspirasyon namin, so sana po patuloy tayo mag-share ng good vibes sa lahat. Thank you po sa inyo lahat! Ayan, ang pagkagaling, pagkaganda at pagkaasbok na naging isang Eliza Valdez. Ayan, so once again, this is Eliza Valdez, the daughter of Batangas. Hello, Batangas City. I'm now turning it over back to the panel. Billy and Jamie. Thank you so much for that, Kyla Castillo. And of course, congratulations to Michelle Gumabao and Eliza Valdez as we take a look at the set scores again one more time. For Creamline and Signal, 25-20, 25-20, and 25-16. A three straight set win for the Cool Smashers. Also, a sock numbers for the last time today, Jamie. What can you see on your streams? Take a look at the opponent errors by the Signal HT Spikers. You have 29, meaning you're giving 29 points to the Creamline Cool Smashers. MG stated earlier that they were very prepared to face the Signal HD Spikers. Now, on the side of the Signal HD Spikers, I did say this earlier, they did have a lot of bright spots. They were up ahead in the first set, I believe, but in terms of execution, that is something that they need to work on. There was a moment where Bang Spanaga was targeting Zone 5, and that's where they were getting that momentum in the second set, going to Vanny Gandler, and that's what allowed them to win that set. That's right, so it's back to the drawing board for the Signal HD Spikers. A lot more volleyball to, to come for the rest of this conference. We're not going to finish games on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we have a lot of exciting matchups in store for everybody. That's October 24, Tuesday, in the Enares Center, new venue for us in Antipolo City. We have the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers going up against the Next Led Chameleons. That is at 2 p.m. to be followed by the Farm Fresh Foxies versus a PLDT High Speed Hitters at 4 p.m. And at 6 p.m., oh, this is going to be a good one. The Kari Chargers will be facing the Cherry Tigo crossovers. We cannot wait to see all of you, whether that's on Filipinas Live, on One Sports, or in the game venue. And that wraps up our coverage for today. On behalf of our director, Direct Marvin Chavez, my partner, Jamie Lavatoria, Kyla Castillo, and everybody else behind this production. I'm Billy Capistrano, and this has been the 2023 PVL Second All-Filipino Conference.